objective so what we need to do is to retrieve the flag from the payload part of the JWT token this shouldn't be too difficult we have a username and the password and an email and the API endpoint is this one okay so I think we're gonna do it via some sort of a command line let's launch the lab okay so we have a web instance of Kali let's see endpoint off local it's a post request and you need to send the identifier and the password your Kali instance has an interface so Kali is on number two and our uh, REST API runs on port 1337 or lead on number three so let's see where are where our attacker machine is so Kelly Linux is here and our attacker machine is uh, is at 192.178.1043 the REST API is at 1337 so we need to do a curl minus x post we need to post without data okay so we need to uh, specify the data so minus minus data uh, okay what are the parameters identifier and password I assume the identifier is the email so Elliot or it might be just Elliot so let's see um, identifier equals can I not just paste? No, I cannot paste. I have to specify. Elliot at evilcorp.com. Elliot at evilcorp.com and password equals Elliot Alderson. Elliot. Alderson do you guys see this or you want me to actually make it larger let me know in the comments shift control plus plus yeah like that should be better so we have the identifier the email and then the password Elliot Alderson okay what else do we need to specify anything else and we're gonna send this post request to our 192.03.1337 auth local let's see if it works so we need to send it to HTTP so I said that our attack uh, our victim is at 192.178.104.3 port 1337 and then off local okay and in this case I believe if we run this curl we should get the JWT token which will then later uh, decode so let's see please provide your password so yeah I misspelled it you guys didn't tell me Where is the password? Le password. Let's see now. So we've got the JWT token all the way up till here. And then we're going to copy this 
let me see if it actually copies outside of this web instance so let me see if I can paste it there so yeah it seems to be copying and then we'll do a JWT token decode if you want to gain an edge over other cybersecurity professionals Take my Python for Pentesters course and uh, learn how to leverage the power of Python in penetration testing and cybersecurity. Link in the description. Web tokens. Just paste it over here. And then of course we have the payload data. So as you can see, it's what they've told us. An important thing to be noted is that JWT does not offer confidentiality. Therefore, anyone application that uses JWT tokens, it is often very easy to look into the data that's been provided with that token. So you should be decoding that token over here. Maybe you could modify the token and send the, the token and see how a request with a modified token actually responds a request to the server with a modified token actually responds sometimes it would re respond with not allowed but you might be surprised that sometimes it actually responds to your modified token but what I wanted to point out is that uh, when you see you often you can often identify a JWT token in the authorization header by the e -A -E -Y -W -J, um, uh, starting at uh, the EWJ uh, combination of characters at the start of the string in the authorization header. So look into that and then see if you can, uh, not see if you can, but actually decode a token and see what sort of information is transmitted using that token. So in this case we have this flag which we can simply verify paste it over here and then there you go